everyone, this is Charm again and welcome back to my channel where we talk about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and adulting how-tos. I got married a few months ago and a few of you have been asking about our suppliers, some tips, tricks, and hacks, and of course, how much we spent. So here is that video. So a few disclaimers before we start. I was in the event industry before, so I did get a lot of discounts and I knew how to organize events, weddings, the booths, and etc. So because of my experience in that industry, it gave us a lot of advantage as well as not having to hire a full-time wedding coordinator. Another is that this isn't going to be a budget wedding breakdown. There are a lot of other videos and content about that already, but I don't often see mid-range weddings being as transparent with their numbers and their expenses as the budget ones, so that's mainly why I'm making this video. And lastly, I'm doing this video for informational purposes only so that people who are planning to get married have an idea of how much they could possibly spend and what are their options in terms of suppliers or what else they can do. We did save up for a wedding for a few years and we came out of it debt free so just keep those in mind when you're planning your own wedding. So with all of that said, let's start the video. So when you're budgeting for a wedding, note that there are two main types of expenses, those that are not guest dependent and those that are guest dependent. So I'm going to be talking about the non-guest dependent expenses first. I broke them down by category as well, so I'll put those here. But do note that we had a Catholic church wedding and a reception afterwards for 220 guests. We got married in 2022 and we're from Cebu, so prices might be different if you're watching this in the future, as well as if you're getting married in other provinces or even in Metro Manila. So let's talk about the church category first. We had our wedding at the Chapel of San Pedro Calungsod at the SMC side complex and that was 40,800 pesos. This includes the air conditioning and the additional ninongs and ninang. So if you don't already know, I discussed in my previous video na two sets of ninongs and ninangs lang yung required when you're getting married in a Catholic church. So over the two pairs, usually churches would charge an additional fee for that and for our case, it was 100 pesos per per additional pair. Next is for the donations or offertories, the love gift for our officiant and the singer or choir, and that amounted to 11,900 pesos. And then lastly are our marriage requirements. So this includes all the things that we had to spend for for both the church and the state. So you need to get those documents. These depend on where you are located and which church you were confirmed, baptized, and etc. But for us, we spent around 5,000 pesos for that. That brings our church expenses to a total of 58,095 pesos. Next is for our bride and groom's outfits, appearances, or basically how we looked for that day. So let's start with the bride's look. So that includes my two-way dress slash gown, my bridal robe, and my accessories, which includes earrings and my hair accessories. And that's a total of 21,900 pesos. My gown was by Steph Tirado. My bridal robe was rented from White Mannequin, and my accessories Accessories were from Jacatel. Next is for my makeup. I got Jomer Sekanara. I only spent 10,000 pesos for bridal makeup alone. The rate is a little bit higher if you just get purely bridal makeup without like the regular makeups for your entourage. But for my case, my parents, my family, and my bridal entourage paid for their own makeup. So this already includes a change of look as well for the reception. So touch up, complete different hair, different accessories. For my bridal shoes, I'm not including it here because they were gifted by the groom. I'll link the TikTok down below because I explained more about that. Next is for the groom's suit and shoes. So the groom's shoes was actually the very first expense slash purchase for the wedding. Even before we settled on a date, on a church, on a venue, meron ng shoes yung groom kasi it was custom made. So his shoes were from Zapatero and it was 22,000 pesos. Again, it was custom made. In the sole of our shoes, it had our wedding monogram as well. And for his stocks, it was by Ray Escario and that's an old friend of his as well. So he gave us a discount and he spent 20,000 pesos for that. But typically, alam ko, parang it starts 30, 35,000. And lastly, are our wedding rings. So we got to save a lot on our wedding rings because my dad gifted us gold. So he gifted us around 18 grams of gold. So that was more than enough to cover for our two 
two bands. So the rest were converted into diamonds for my ring. So we only spent a total of 3,700 pesos for the labor to mold and make the rings. So for the total for the bride and groom's look for that day, it was 77,600 pesos. So next category is for suppliers. We had two main expenses for this and one is our on-the-day coordinator which was Nugi Rines Mata. Highly, highly recommend if you're having weddings in Cebu. I love her. Um, I already knew I was gonna get her years before because my friends also got her for their wedding which I was a bridesmaid of and super seamless, super galing niya. And she's also not like super expensive. Her rate was 35,000 pesos and that already includes her team as well. So for on-the-day coordination, she comes in one or two months before the wedding date and she basically takes over your supplier list from there. So everything was more or less finalized already but there were a few things that we needed to finalize on or ask help with and she was more than happy to take over from there naman. Another expense is our meals for our supplier. So we had to feed around 80 heads total for brunch and for dinners. So typically this is something that a lot of brides forget about. So we had to get our supplier meals from the hotel or reception venue kasi mapamahal na kami if we get outside food and super mahal yung corkage nila. So they charged us 300 pesos per head. But what I did for those setting up like since the night before like sounds, lights, and decorator or stylist, I opted to give them an additional amount na lang for the meals and they could buy their own meals na lang. So with this, we got to save a lot because marami sila who are going to be setting up. And again, medyo mahal yung 300 per head charged by the hotels. So we ended up paying for 80 packs for 300 pesos per head or 24,000 pesos. So for our suppliers, that's a total of 59,000 pesos. So next are miscellaneous expenses. First is for our bridal car. So we opted not to get a separate bridal car to save money and instead we borrowed a car from one of our ninong and we tipped the driver 1,000 pesos. Next is for our coasters and vans. So we got a total of two vans, one for our welcome dinner the night before and one on the day and another coaster for our entourage and that was a total of 10,000 pesos four hours of use at that for all three transportations. Next expense is for our invitations which I DIY'd. So I ordered paper off Shopee. I made the layout through Canva and the big savings here is that so one of our ninangs actually owns a print shop. So she sponsored all of our printed materials like 50 pieces of invitations with four um, sheets each. Our guests had individual name cards and individual menu cards. So stuff like that are Ninang paid for it. So we only spent 1,220 for invites kasi we mostly invited our friends online na rin. And then lastly is for our hotel the night of the wedding as well as the night before which includes like dress up, morning of, one bridal room for 15,000 pesos and two junior suites where the groom stayed the night before and me and my husband stayed after the wedding. So that was 16,000 pesos or a total of 31,000 pesos. So total for miscellaneous is 43,220 pesos. So next is for documentation. So this wasn't really so high up our priority list. So we just got basic packages. For our video team, we got Sapphire Films for 25,000 pesos. Supposed to be 30 with drone but last minute, wala kasing pilot license yung nag operate ng drone and required yun for our reception venue so we decided to cancel that instead and then for our photo team we got rock, paper, scissors for 30,000 pesos so wala nang SDE yung photo team, walang album so we opted to maybe just do that afterwards so that we can lay out our own album so there are websites on that, I haven't done that yet kasi we're supposed to get our photos sometime this week so I'll update you guys on that. Which reminds me, if you're dealing with photo and video suppliers, make sure to ask your photo video team when they will be able to deliver the photos and videos just to manage expectations. And then lastly, our prenup shoot, we had our friend do our video, Dominic Celeste, and our really good friend also, Ray Cabardilla, for the photo. And I have another separate video for that. We did it in Manila, three venues. So that's a total of 35,000 pesos. And then lastly, we were supposed to 
to have a photo booth for around 5,000 pesos. We paid a down payment of around 500 pesos but they did not show up and I didn't realize until I was like thanking all of our suppliers towards the end of the program. So I had my coordinator um, call them and apparently they got the dates and venues mixed up and they went to another venue. I'm not sure what happened but they reimbursed us the money and it wasn't such a big loss that we didn't have a photo booth. I didn't even realize up until the end of the program. So blessing in disguise na rin kasi we saved that money instead. So the total for the documentation is 90,000 pesos. Next category is for our entourage. So first up is for our parents or families gowns, suits, makeup, ganyan. So since we were paying for our wedding ourselves, we didn't ask any money from our parents. We agreed that they would be spending for their suits, gowns, and their makeup. So we didn't spend anything on that. So for the first expense for this category is for our thank you gifts for our principal sponsors and secondary sponsors. We ordered from a shop that we found on Lazada but we ordered through their Instagram account kasi they extended 15% discount for us. Medyo mas mahal lang yung shipping as compared to doing it on the platform but overall it saved us more money so we opted for that way na lang and we got them charcuterie boards and slate boards and we decided not to put our wedding monograms on there kasi I feel like it's too personal and they might not want to use that every day in their household so we decided to put our wedding monogram on the box na lang. They can just discard the box after but it's not too personalized yung wedding gift itself. So that's a total of 26 gifts. We had 10 pairs of principal sponsors and 3 pairs of secondary sponsors. So that was a total of 25,000 pesos. So next is for my bride squad. So one maid of honor and 5 bridesmaids. So some of my bridesmaids got married first and we kind of did the same thing wherein we gave them cloths so that they would be able to decide on the design of their gowns and pick um, the designer or mananahe on their own so they spent for their makeup as well so I spent 12,000 pesos um, I think around 1,000 pesos of that went to cloths and then around 1,000 pesos each as well for the bridal gifts that I gave them on the date which included a dress during makeup and then some things that I DIY'd like a candle champagne glass and skincare stuff and just little trinkets here and there and then for the groomsmen naman um, 6 paren, 1 best man and five groomsmen. We spent 6,000 pesos on their gifts which includes the necktie that they will be wearing on the day, a tie clip, a handkerchief, um, socks, and a candle as well. So it wasn't as much as the bridesmaids because the groomsmen were asked to just wear a plain black suit. A thing that I did also for the gift box for the bridesmaids and groomsmen is instead of like a cardboard or box that you would put everything in and then throw it out afterwards, nasasayangan kasi ako and they're kind of expensive then. So what I did was I got got like a plain storage box that they can reuse afterwards. So it looks something like this. I just got it off Shopee. So for the entourage category, we spent a total of 43,000 pesos. So for our last category is reception and I included here na kasi naka-package na yung florist slash stylist or decorator even though they also decorated the church kasi nga naka-package na siya. So it was by my good friend Vanessa from Piece of Cake Events Co. So this was her first big wedding event, um, first time niya sa reception venue namin. And I really appreciate that she took on the challenge as she was transitioning to doing this full time. So it has a really friendly rate, included na yung church decor, yung photo booth sa reception, yung entrance sa reception venue, um, table flowers, my bouquet and my entourage's bouquet, boutonnieres, um, stage design, ang dami niyang um, decorate, and we spent 89500 Peso. And you're probably not gonna get a rate like this anymore for the work that was done. Again, she was a really close friend. And deckers can go up to a couple hundreds to like a million pesos. This really wasn't too high up on our priority list kasi nasasayangan kami sa decorations and flowers that we won't get to bring home afterwards. So we were medyo conservative sa budget namin when it comes to decorations. Next is for our sounds and lights setup. So we just got a basic package for 48 8,800 pesos. This already included also the DJ that will be handling the music for the entire program working alongside the host. So our supplier was TRU Multimedia Services. Next is for our hosts which we got Paolo Varela and he 
he's a common friend me from my events um organizing days and then jet from like high school so he knew both of us and we've worked with him a couple of times as well so he wanted to gift it to us but we gave him a love gift of 8888.88 pesos i know it's very chinese but yeah it it be like that <laughs> so he was also really a guest first and foremost so we made sure to make the program short as well para he wouldn't have to work so long and we obviously prioritize the after party next is for our entertainment which is a band and super sulit nito because they played four sets one set was for our cocktail hour which is just saxophone and another full band set for our dinner and two sets for our after party which the other set was actually an extension already so originally it was just supposed to be three sets so I forgot to mention kasama na pala sa basic sounds and lights yung um, band setup na kailangan ng band so like amplifiers, microphones, uh, drum set, and stuff like that. We paid a total of 28,000 pesos for all four sets and that's super sulit na and it's because they're not a formal band. They only come together for events for people that hired them then. So they individually have separate gigs and stuff like that. Another thing that we really recommend everyone spending on is a dance instructor and we only spent 2,000 pesos for that. And they're basically like a Zumba instructor for the after party. Kasi we noticed that a lot of people don't really dance in the dance floor after party. Umuwi na yung iba. Kasi na-intimidate sila to be in the dance floor, right? But if you have someone leading the steps and the steps are very simple which anyone can do then everyone would be in the dance floor the entire night i think people stayed in the dance floor three four hours for our wedding and i highly recommend you guys hire an instructor for the after party next is for our cake which was supplied by the chocolate leaf lemon flavor three-tier cake two styrofoam layers and one real cake layer and it was fondant and it was 10,000 pesos so i initially wanted like a five layer cake but then i later realized na it's not really that big of a deal and i decided to give cheryl from the chocolate leaf a budget of 10,000 pesos and what can we do with that and this is what she came up with and i am so happy it's still so pretty we just put it up a little bit with some risers so that it would look taller but overall no complaints Next is for venue exclusive expenses for Marco Polo Hotel. So that includes electricity, corkages, and stuff like that. We spent a total of 12,000 pesos for that. Now we're down to our last few expenses and these are the expenses that are guest dependent. So again, we have approximately 220 guests. So first is for our cocktails. We ordered the finger foods from Salt and this is what we had. And we also ordered two fruit punches from Marco Polo, which is our venue. So we spent a total of 45 thousand five hundred pesos for our dinner itself we got it from marco polo hotel as well and that's kind of a package already with the venue we spent 1600 per person or 352 000 pesos total these are the inclusions and it was a family style serving meaning everything was already served in the table in like a lazy susan so people wouldn't have to keep on going up during the program to get food and to get like desserts and drinks and stuff like that so we really like that option but we got to add like lechon as well so we got that served in the table we spent 26,400 pesos for four whole lechons our lechon supplier was boon's lechon and another thing that we added was a dessert station so we had soft serve ice cream and then you can like choose toppings afterwards it was good for around 150 packs by swirl and it was 15,000 pesos and lastly are for our drinks we spent quite a lot on our drinks because that was one of our main priorities to have an awesome after party but anyway for our drinks because we're in the hotel kami, right and when you usually have events and hotels they would usually ask for corkages for every bottle that you bring in but for us we reach into an agreement where in every wine bottle you order from them they would waive a corkage for every liquor that we bring in so we ordered 30 bottles of wine from marco polo and that was around thirty thousand pesos 15 whites and 15 reds and then we brought in another 30 liquors mostly jaeger whiskey gin and chasers and that was around thirty three thousand pesos cash out i say cash out because we had around 20,000 pesos of Lazada vouchers and guys pro tip order 
drinks from Lazada. Especially when we ordered it, it was 10, 10, and 11, 11 sale. So, ang laking tulong yung 10% off or yung 50 off for every 500 pesos. We probably saved around 10,000 pesos for that. And then for the rest of the drinks and chasers, we just got it from SNR. Kasi for other liquors, mas mura talaga yung SNR. But for those that I found that are cheaper online on Lazada, I waited for the sale and ordered a bunch. Everything came in safe naman, walang nabasag, and everything was legit as well. So just make sure also you're transacting with a Lazmol merchant or someone with really high ratings. Lastly is that since we were weren't able to bring any of our fur babies either to the church or the reception. We wanted to honor them by having like a dog biscuit bar. So it's for our guests to take home to their pets for them to be able to just have like a little um, part of the wedding. And we ordered it from Pop Stuff Cebu and it was a total of 3,800 pesos for 50 dog treats. So for reception expenses, that's a total of 704,888.88 pesos. So as you can see, the bulk of what you spend for like a wedding celebration is really for the reception. So that brings our total to 1,075,803.88 pesos. So I know it sounds a lot and it is, but like I said, we had enough time to save for it. We went out of the wedding without any debts. Everything was paid for. I would consider this like a mid-range wedding weddings can obviously cost up to like three five million for some and as low as like a couple hundred thousands for some as well again it depends on you and your partner and what you're comfortable spending for this one day event we were really happy that we spent our money on that to celebrate it with our friends and families so again i hope this video gave you guys information it can help you as you're planning your wedding and send this video to your friends to your partner who might want some idea on how much you're gonna be possibly spending on a wedding. If you like this video and the transparency, then please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload another video. And this is Charm again and I will see you on the next video.